I can't go to school with stinky breath. Happen you could suck a mint. I could get gum disease, tooth decay. Steve, will you come out of there now, please? All right. What were you doing in there, anyway? It's not like you've got much air to speak of, is it? You don't exactly need to be groomed to sit in a car all day. I have to deal with the general public on a daily basis. I am the face of street cats. Yeah, oh. the unshaven face. Steve, we need a new house. One bathroom between four is not working. You were quick. Pack lunch. Oh, yeah, hang on. There you go. We need a new house or another bathroom. Oh, bye. Have a good day. Bye, love. Uh, I'll have a shave then. You had your chance. Babe, I mean this. We need our own place. Did I say anything embarrassing? Everything you said was embarrassing. And crime-related, have you got some sort of compulsion to confess? Oh, don't tell me. I know what I'm like. Uh, you're a liability. I like a few drinks and my mouth starts going, just, like, totally out of control. It was all his fault. How was it my fault? I said you could go because it was your birthday. You never let me cut hair. You promised you'd train me and then you never did. And that made me disappointed. And when I'm disappointed, I get drunk. And when I'm drunk, I blab. Right, well, uh, if you can't drink and keep your mouth shut, then maybe... So let me cut. You're not ready yet. Oh, come on. You want to hear, give us some training, let her use the clippers or something, under strict supervision. I used to cut my brother's hair when we was kids, and I only ever drew blood once. Sorry, twice. But he wouldn't keep his head still. Right, I'm not making any promises. I'm starting to feel disappointed again. I can't let an untrained junior loose with a pair of scissors, can I? All right, OK? Maybe if the right client comes in, we'll... Let you use the clippers or something. What's the right client? Oh, yeah. Any chance of a haircut? Oh, I think there's every chance, Kurt. I was thinking of something a bit edgy, a bit radical, a bit rock star. Good choice. Not too mad like, just a bit edgy. Well, you're in luck, Kurt Calicious, because Natalie here is Queen of Edge. Yeah. Uh, not much to work with, but we can make it rock. So, what do you think, Kurt? I was about letting our trainee start you off. Go for it. I tried to invest in new technology and you put the mockers on it. You tried to spend the house deposit money. Yeah, to save the business. You know how to save the business, Steve. You bend the rules, you play dirty. I could lose my licence. You could lose your wife. And what's he flipping doing here in our patch boulders, brat? Oi! Oh, I don't believe this. Hi, hey, Tracy. Nice to be home. What are you playing at? Go on, get lost! I'm not playing it. It's landed an hour ago. You got out of a go-lucky cab. Ah, it's really easy. You just used their app. Never mind the app. Steve owns a cab firm, do you know that? So every time you use go-lucky, you stop me and Amy having a roof over our heads. Have you got an app? Well, uh, how much did you pay? 18 quid. 18 quid? Yeah, I threw in a couple of quid tip as well. From the airport? It's quite reasonable, actually. Oi, shh. Right, give him 20 quid. Are you nuts? No, not nuts. It's family. You owe him 20 quid. Well, this is a nice welcome home, isn't it? Where's your wallet? Am I the only one prepared to fight for our family? Steve, you know what you've got to do. Our cat. Call us whenever you wish. Thanks, Steve. Yeah. Go. It's okay. Ali's not going to be back for ages. Come on, I'll make us more breakfast. No, you don't understand. I have to be at work. If I'm going to be late, they're going to cut my wages. Okay, well, I'll come with you then. Yeah, it's going to take me two seconds to get there. No. No, because I can explain, all right? You won't have slept. I'm just going to say it's my fault. No, it's my fault. I shouldn't have stayed. It was a big mistake. Really? That's how you feel, yeah? No, it was nice. It's just I shouldn't have fallen asleep. No, I'll be in trouble. Well, that's just not fair, OK? Just wait there, OK? I'll no, come with you. No, no, it's my work. I will sort it out. I have to go, I'm sorry. Yes, Claudia, I have all the petitions here. I'll be drafting a letter outlining all the points we discussed. I'll get it. Yep. 
Hello. Look like that. I yeah? Come up. Is Adam? Yes, I know that the bail accommodation consultation period is closing. Yes? Yes, of course. Hey. I thought I'd call in and say hello. Oh, really? And where have you been for the past yeah. few months? I know. It was bad timing. I just needed to get away. Okay. okay. Well, you were needed here. Yes, I will do. He needed you here. Well, I'm here now. Um, yeah, well, I best get back to work on that right away. Okay. Look, the Wanderer returns. So now you won't have to do the work of two solicitors on your own. I heard what happened. I'm really sorry. Do you think I need a haircut? Yeah. Yeah, that feels much better. Yeah. Lunch. Oh, you're a star. And what do you think? I love it. Edgy. As soon as the doctor says it's okay, we'll get you home. Do you want me to get you a drink or anything? No. Carla, ready to go home? The home treatment team will be visiting regularly to help you devise a care plan, but Carla's going to need a lot of support. And that's what she's going to get. It's my number one priority is to get you better. It's not a one-man job. No, no, I know. Rome wasn't built in a day. Patience is the key. I'll be fine. Where are we going? I'm going to move in with you and Roy. Roy? Yeah. He wants to help, like me. Like I say, we'll be OK. Like an epidemic of lycra. I mean, where are they all coming from? Oh, that's great. Well, if everybody rode bikes, they wouldn't need taxis, would they, you... Me and Sam love our tandem. Well, we may as well give up now, then, haven't we? And then a ladyship will never get a gaff. How many calls in the last hour, anyway? Three. Oh, um, Sal's just arrived with a coffee and a low-fat, high-fiber, nutty flat. Yeah, nutty flat, Jeff. Roger now. Take us to the hospital, please. Oh, mate, I can't pick up at the side of the road. <sighs> My mum's sick. I said I'd visit. Look, I'd love to, but it's illegal. I could lose my operator's license. I won't tell if you don't. Look, I, I don't want to let my mum down. How much roughly to the hospital? Well, it's about 15 quid. I'll give you 20. 25. Cash. Get him. <laughs> Top man. Oh, 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 I'm not happy about it. She should be in hospital. How can you look after Carla and run a cafe? Peter will be living here and I have other staff. It's too soon. I'm not saying it will be easy, but hopefully she will make a rapid recovery. Well, I hope you've got the hospital on speed dial. <sighs> if I can do anything, I just wanted to get better. So, how are things going with the new girl? New girl? Natalie. Good, yeah, good. Yeah, I saw her cutting Kirk's hair. Is she qualified? Uh, Davy's training room. Yeah, he's seen very hands-on. Do you think we might have a word? Well, you need to have a word with Carla. She's at the hospital now. We're monitoring the situation, thank you. In the meantime, we'd like to ask you a few more questions, if that's OK. Uh, well, I've told you everything I know. We have a car outside. And if I refuse? It won't take long. Uh, look, will you ring Paula? She's probably back from her pony trekking by now. I just... Oh, we have two minutes. Can you get some flowers and chocolates? Oh, Do you want to have? Yeah, can I have a flapjack? Any flavour? Uh, no, it's uh, surprising. Oh, uh, my tree. Oh. Yeah, I'm here. Any jobs come in? No, you're right. Yeah. 
Yeah, I'm alright. Are you alright? Yeah, it sounds like the chicken salad for me lunch. Well, I haven't had anything since breakfast. Listen, mate, it's totally dead. Why don't you just skip off and have an early lunch? Yeah, I'll probably do that, mate. Yeah, I'll see you in a bit. Yeah, roger that. Let's go. Oh, cheers, babe. No problem. Oh, tip hospital. It's not answering. Do you mind if I pop and see him? I'll, I'll be two minutes. But Peter's bringing Carla home. I know, but I'll, I'll be dead quick, I promise. Uh, what if I wipe the tables first? Yeah. Tables first. You can handle Claudia if you want. It's done. Are you sure you're okay? I'm fine. I need to get back to the office. Hello. Yeah. I know me and Marcy and I try right now, but he has had a tough time. It seems like a lot of people around here have had a tough time. Oh. So, are you back then? Yeah. For good? We'll see. And, um, did you find what you were looking for? I'm still looking. I just need a, a reboot. Everything goes back to normal. Yeah. I'll, uh, see you around. Hello. What exactly just happened there? Lee, um, look, sorry, I'm, I'm not trying to cause trouble, but has Nick been taken in for questioning again? Who's telling you that? I just saw him in a police car. Uh, keep him watch, were you? You just love stirring it, don't you? Would you know what? It's none of your business. And actually, I'd like my lunch in peace, thanks. Don't ask. Yeah, so it's really convenient, you know, because the flat's above the cab office, so I could just roll out of bed and go straight to work. I mean, Tracy reckons we should have our own place. It's only because Amy was pregnant. Amy's my daughter, you know. So, uh, what's up with your mum, then? Nothing serious, I hope. It's a uh, woman's troubles. Ah, right, none of our business then, eh? What did you get her from the shop? Hey? What did you get your mum from the shop? Just drive, all right? Just try to make conversation, mate, you know? Go left, go bad. The hospital's straight on. Yeah, I said left. Your mum's not going to be very chuffed. Where are we, uh, where are we going? It's no more chat. Just drive the car and do as I say. So, I see, like, a skin fade here, and then I could shave in, like, go faster stripes. Oh, I can't have anything too radical. I'm a police officer. Oh, right. Yeah, I should have guessed you've got that air of authority about you. Do you think? Oh, yeah. You look like the kind of guy you wouldn't mess with. Why aren't you answering your phone? I left it at home. I was going to go get it. OK, well, Nick's been taken in for more questioning. What? When? Just now. Uh, if you want to go and see what's going on, I don't mind looking after the shop a bit. Yeah, just put that thought on hold. Uh, has anybody found Paula? Uh, yeah, Leanne did. Look, why don't you just close up for a couple of hours? And lose trade? It's his brother. I'm sure he'll be fine. He should be grateful we're looking after the business for him. Right. Well, I told her it'd only be two minutes. You best be getting back then. We can cope here. I'll see you at home. Bye. We'll be fine. Right, so, how about I start him off and then you can tidy up after? You all right with that? Go for it. Uh, sorry, mate, just two minutes. You OK? What are you doing here? Well, these are for you. We didn't get time for breakfast, so... Thank you. Did you get into trouble? No, it was fine. Rachel was at one of the other shops. That's good. So I, I was thinking maybe we could, uh, you know, go for a coffee if you've got a, if you've got a break. I, I, I just had one and she, she will be back soon. Sounds like you're ashamed of me. She's very protective. She doesn't like us having boyfriends. So I'm, I'm your boyfriend? 
I don't know. But, but you won't be if she comes back. She finds you here with flowers. Look, it's a free country. I just popped in to say hello. Yes, and I'm asking you to go. And if you care about me, then I'll do as I ask. OK, I'm sorry if that's what you want. So where are we going? I don't know yet. Well, you better think quick, because I've only got a quarter of a tank left, so... Yeah, I'm thinking. You robbed that shop, didn't you? Great, well, that means I'm a getaway driver now. Look, why don't I just take you to a police station? You know, you can hand yourself in the back, go easy on me, with your mum being in hospital. Shut up! Shut up. Look, there's CCTV everywhere. There was no CCTV in that petrol station. That's why I chose it. I'm not stupid. Yeah, well, even so. Why not take your police station? You can hand yourself in. Then he can explain that I had nothing to do with it. Just turn it down there. I thought you said they wanted to talk to me. They do. They also want to see your personal accounts and the accounts in the bottle shop. Right, well, you said I was in the clear if nothing else turned up. Well, maybe something else turned up. Sorry to keep you waiting. And for keeping my client in the dark when he has fully cooperated with you from the start. We've spoken to Elsa. Your wife. You mean my embittered ex who'd say anything to get me into trouble. Then you won't be surprised her version of events doesn't match yours. She denies giving you any money. Mm, she's lying. We want to see your personal accounts and your business accounts from the barber's shop. OK, this sounds like a fishing trip. Do I need to remind you? This is a criminal investigation. A young woman died. Yeah, and do I need to remind you? You've already interviewed me. I've told you everything I know. So no accounts are going to prove I've got a motive to destroy that factory. It would be nice to think you wanted to find out the truth as much as we do. Now you can prove that by showing us the accounts voluntarily. OK, you want the accounts, you get a warrant. Is there anything you like? Yeah, I've seen something I like. Sadly, not in our price range. Ooh, you'll have to compromise then on the uh, ensuite bedrooms, snooker room, <laughs> veranda. Yeah, well, we'll be compromising on four walls and a roof if Steve doesn't pull his finger out. Oh, I'm sure you'll find something you like. You know, I have loved Steve and Amy staying here, but actually, I am quite looking forward to having this place to myself for a bit. Oh, um, what? Did Steve not tell you? Tell me what? When we find an house, we're going to be putting this place on the market. You're chucking me out? Well, yeah. No. Your flaming well didn't tell me. Do you know what? My son is the biggest coward in the whole world. And he is in big trouble. OK? OK. Right, I'll tell you what. Why don't I put the kettle on, make us a nice brew? You OK? Is everything all right? You. Yes. You betrayed me. Peter, what's he doing? I don't trust him. Who let you in? It's my home, Carla. 
It's your home, too. Stay in here. Hey, it's fine. It's not just Roy. Is not he it's not after okay. you. He I'm here. Betray me. He. No, either he goes or I go. Please get out. Please get out. Get out. Get out. Listen, take the car, take the car, right? Hey, right? Take, take, you take the car. I won't say anything. Cars get nicked every day, yeah? Can't drive. You can't drive? Well, if I could drive, I wouldn't need a getaway taxi, would I? You're the only witness. Hey? No CCTV. In the shop, he, he never saw my face. That means you're the only one who knows what happened. Stay with us on ITV. We're back on Corrie in half an hour.